Hey guys, James Graham here again from Double J's Bowl and Supply with another vlog topic. And today we're going to talk about well, what's an RG and what's a differential in a bowling ball. I've seen those numbers before. I don't really know what they mean. So what does that mean in relation to when I buy a bowling ball? We'll, tap, we'll tackle that next here on our vlog topic series. So guys, what an RG and a differential is, just to give you an idea, RG stands for radius, radius of gyration. So what that means is when a weight block is put in a bowling ball and it is determined how to get those variable numbers, what they do is they take a ball that's already got a weight block and already made and they put it on a spinner. And what they do is they take it this way and then they're just going to spin it one mile per hour. And however long that takes this ball to get around in seconds, one mile per hour, that's the first number that they get. Usually that is the RG. What they do then is they flip it 180 degrees, put it on that same spinner, and then they're going to have it go one mile per hour up and down. And they're going to get that second number. And usually the second number is going to be larger than the first number. And what they do is they subtract the two. So if, say, this takes three seconds to get around from top to bottom, set of side to side, they minus it from the first number, and that is the differential of the bowling ball. So the first number, the RG, anywhere from 2, 3, 2, 4, to all the way up to 2, 6 and beyond, just a little bit on bowling balls. The higher the RG, the longer that ball is going to take to get into its hook phase. So if it's 2, 5, 6, that's technically kind of long, so it's going to take uh, generally a little bit longer of a uh, delay on the lane for it to start getting its uh, rotate, uh, change of direction. If it's closer to 2.4, 2, 2.45, 2, 2.48, somewhere in that number, it's going to hook a little bit sooner. It's going to see the lane a little bit sooner. Usually you'll see that on a little bit smaller type weight block balls because those weight blocks aren't as dynamic. Balls with bigger weight blocks, typically you'll see the RGs be potentially bigger. 2.5 and above is what you're going to see. Now, what's the differential in a bowling ball? Well, the differential and how does that equate to a bowling ball is the higher the differential, the more potential of the bowling ball that it can have to hook. So they go from anywhere from all the way to point five, six, seven, oh six, oh seven, all the way up to point six. And there's a couple of balls that are a little bit above that, but they're kind of like plastic balls. So we won't get into those. But the higher the number when it comes to that is that's going to give the balls, that's the potential of the bowling ball. That's how much hook the ball can have. So if you have a ball that's got like a .56, I believe this ball here in particular has a .55 differential in this deviate here. So more potential means more hook. Therefore, the bigger the weight block potentially in a bowling ball, the more hook it has, the more potential of hook it has. So in this particular deviate ball, this RG number is 248. So it takes just about... Uh, that's in the middle road as far as when this ball starts to make its transition. But then you look at the differential, and it's 0.55, and that's pretty high for Deviate. That's one of the higher numbers they have on their equipment from top to bottom when you look at entry level all the way up to top shelf and high performance bowling balls. So this is one of Deviate's heaviest hooking type balls, and it is asymmetrical. And asymmetrical balls typically will have a little bit more change of motion than symmetrical balls. So when you're looking at your next bowling ball, Remember to look at the RG, the radius of gyration, and the differential, and kind of look at those numbers and just say, hey, if I'm looking for a particular motion on the lane, what kind of RG and differential do I want? Surface is also going to play a big factor into bowling balls as well, but RG and diff are going to get you a good range of motion to when you're going into your pro shop operator like me and asking me what would be a good ball to buy for me in particular, no matter what kind of condition I'm bowling on, whether it's leagues, open play, tournament play, what kind of ball do I want that's going to fit my game? So when you come in here, that's the kind of experience you're going to get. We're going to talk to you about RG and differentials and explain to you what they are and help you, the bowler, get out there and score well with any ball that you buy from us. So we'll talk, tackle another uh, vlog topic coming up soon, guys. Good luck on the lanes out there. Have a great time uh, this year. Hopefully everybody's uh, leagues closed out really well and you guys are ready to bowl for the summer. And when you're ready to make your next purchase, come on in here to Double J's Bowling Supply inside AMF College Lanes and Overton Park. Have a great time on the lanes, guys. Take care.